a fine night, fine night to all uh, those who have participated. Um, okay, so now we're in the middle of a sugi here. Oh, so Dr. Corman texted me this morning and he, and he was my error that this Machlaikis, Machlaikis, uh, yeah, Machlaikis Rashi, Rashi and the Ran. So we had said yesterday that if a father, again, the whole sugya that we're talking about, which will come again tomorrow, mm-hmm. as the Shem, is, is uh, um, that when the father, right, a, a girl who's engaged, she makes a nether, so the father and the husband have to be matted the nether. So we said that what happens if the father, um, um, the father died, I'm sorry, we're mixing up the case. I'm already mixing it up. We didn't even start, right? <laughs> um, the father, the father was mater and neder, and before the husband heard it, he died. Right? So he said it to Machlech, it's Bishami Vishil, whether the um, whether the father could uh, be mater husband could, could be mater for the for the husband, right? So Beit Hillel says you're not allowed to be made for. Beshama says he can, he can be made for. The father takes over the husband's, the husband, and Beit Hillel says not. So the the, the Fyrish says Beit Hillel says not, meaning. But if he's matter his own again, the father's matter his own again, then he could do the husband. The Ran says not like that. The Ran says even if he's matter his own neder, meaning he goes back to the drawing board and starts the whole Hatoras Nadarim again. It doesn't work according to the Ran, but according to the Mefarish, according to Rashi, it does work. Okay. Now the Gemara asks a whole series of questions about these things. Again, you, you have to wonder with these questions, what kind of winners are we talking about with, the, with all these Nadarim, right? Uh, but hey, they made a Gemara out of it. So, so uh, five lines down on, on Samach Tessa Meral. So boy, Rav, Rav had a Shiloh. Or ain't so we said that there's something called being makam, being makayim a nether, which is that if the, the wife slash daughter makes a nether and the husband or the father are makayim the nether, so then that's it, the nether is a nether. So let's say the father, the father wakes up in the morning and uh, the daughter says, ah, I just made a nether that I'm not eating, uh, I'm not eating today. Right, so the father says, "Great idea! Don't eat today." So that's it. He was Makayim the Nether, right? Really, he has it within his power, at least within a day, that he could nullify it, right? But he didn't. He said, "Yeah, it's a good idea," right? So can he now change his mind? Right? Can he say, "Oh man, in the morning I was in a bad mood. I didn't have my coffee, and now I have my coffee." He's like, "One second, it's a stupid idea for you to fast." Right, so can he take it back or not? So that's that's Rav Shaila. Yes, Shaila Bahakam or ain't Shaila Bahakam. Meaning, how would he take it back? He'd go ask a Shaila to the Chachamim. Meaning, the same way somebody makes a nether can go ask the Chachamim and take it back. So, can the father or the husband be, if, if they said, Oh, I think it's a good idea to keep the nether, can they change their mind by asking it back? Fine. Then Gemara says, Imtim Salaima, and if you're going to say, that that you could ask it back, meaning they're allowed to go and take it back. Let's say they were made for the nether. And you know, the, again, using our example, the father gets a knock on the door from the daughter. The daughter says, I decided I'm fasting today. And the father says, no, you're not. Right? But then he changes his mind. Can he go take back? Can he go take back the the hatar the hatar of the nether or the mefer of the nether, so or not? So yes, shela bahafer or ain't shela bahafer? Can he can he or can he not? So these these shailas are both as contingent one on the other. Again, the first shaila is: Can you take back your kiyum of the your support of the nether? Can you take that back? And if yes, can you take back your lack of support of the nether? Right. So that's the shaila. So tashemada. When Rabbi Yochanan nishalan ala hakam. You are allowed to ask about, take back your support of the nether, but you're not allowed to ask on the, you're not allowed to take no. back your... See, uh, it's a very okay. simple once you question. Mount, one second. Once you mount to the nether, you can no longer, you can't rescind it. Yeah, what are you saying? Why is Rabbi Yechon going to riot anything? He's another Amayra. That's a Gershon type question. 
I hear you. I, I, I don't think you find <laughs> as many places outside of Durham. What? The Gemara says the Toshima. The Gemara is bringing a Rabbah. Yes, I'm at the Toshima. Yeah, Shkoyach. Like Rabba needs Rabbi Yechanan. He's in a Meir also. I totally went over my head that question. That's a good question. Not that the other questions are not good questions, but uh, we had it once before, not in the Durham. Did we had an exubus? Do we have an exubus? We had it. And we there I to... asked it. Yeah. yeah. Here I didn't ask it. It's slightly different. There we had, it was one generation before. It's not much. This is, is this one generation before or two? This it's is three. Energy. Three? So it's even worse. It's oh, three so generations. It's, it's, I guess it's better. It's not, it's not a raya. It's, 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 it's a little funny. Well, it, it kind of is a raya. It's odd to have a shaila about a halakha with the Rebbe. It's normally a bryson. He can argue. Rava can argue on Rabbi Yechman. That's, That's what I'm saying. What, what, what's the Toshima? Asking a shaila is odd. Right. It says Rabbi Yechman. So you want to know, Again, they're asking just for the island. It says Toshima. Normally when the Gemara brings a raya from Toshima. I don't know. Normally, it's always. Toshima is usually a brysa. Sometimes it's usually a mishra. But it's yeah. not a but it's not an Amoira, right? And here it's bringing from Rabbi Yechanan. You have right? it a few times. I think it's usually when it's a few generations before, but it would work the previous generation also. The Amoiraim can argue on a previous Amoir. But to That's have it true, as a but... Shaila, what's your Shaila? Why is it a Shaila? Rabbi Yechanan said it. If you want to argue, argue. He's up there, hey. But you, there's no Shaila here. It was Paskin already. Um, I don't know. Uh, so Art Scroll has it as Rabbi Yochanan, not Rabbi Yochanan. They do? So I'm a Rabbi Yochanan. Oh, that's okay. That could answer a lot of things. Rabbi Yochanan. That. So I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is a Bryce anywhere. I don't think this is a. No, but Avi's right. L'chaira, l'chaira, if it's uh, if it's Rabbi Yochanan, so they're saying it's not the standard Rabbi Yochanan. It's a it's a Tana Rabbi Yochanan. Can't be. The problem is that where it's quoted from, I'm Tessa Aleph, the one who asks on Rabbi Yochanan is Rav Kana. Rav Kana was the same generation as Rabbi Yochanan. The Amira. Right after Rav, or during the end of Rav's life. Okay, but that doesn't mean he could he could have asked. It doesn't mean he's asking it straight to him. Does that mean he's asking it straight to him? No, but it's not. Well, it's the same issue. How do you ask a Shaila and a Tana? You could ask. Not as invasive. I hear. Never have that. I hear. All right. I don't know. I'm going to go with uh, obvious terms that it's uh, that it's Rebbe and that's all. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so if you way, look at, I'm just curious. If you look at the other place in Shas where this is quoted, is it Rabbi or, or Rabbi Yechon? I don't know. It's probably it's Aleph Reish Yud. It's Aleph Reish Yud with two which things. Which is, it could be anything, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ershin, okay. why can't he ask? If we're so proud that Rav Moshe argues with the Ramah, so why can't some, so the, some but two people in the Gemara argue with each other? What's the big spritz? Arguing is one thing, but you never have an Amira asking a Shaila against the Tana. Why not? What's the, just don't ask. What's the little thing? There's no, I mean, because you're saying that it sounds like it's direct. No, even without that, it's a Shaila against something Atana said. There are different ways of, of speaking when it's regarding to Atana. So he would ask another Amira, is this the din here or is this there? But not a major. You're just asking, you're just asking out, the term, out the terminology. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I hear. All right. So anyways, okay. So either way, Toshima Doma Rabbi Yochanan the Sholan Allah Hakam Vein the Sholan Allah Hafer. You could ask about the being making it, but you not ask about um, how far. You can't take back how far. Fine. That's question number one. Question number two. Boy Rabba. Now I don't know. The Gemara keeps changing between Rabba and Rabba. I don't know. Here it doesn't. So I mean the different gear soils. So I'm not sure if they're all supposed to be Rabba. All supposed to be Rabba. I don't know. But here it says Rabba. Boy Rabba. Kaim Lechi. Kaim Lechi. Right when when the father or the husband hears about the nether, he says, 
I'm I'm backing it up and I'm backing it up, right? A double lashon. He uses he just uses two two lashonas instead of one. Vinishal ala kamer lashon, and then he goes and he asks back on the first one. So then mahu, what's the din? Meaning, does do we still have the second akama or not? Yeah. Again, he says the guy, the father hears about the daughter's nether, and he says, "It's good, it's good." Right. I'm backing up. I'm backing it up. Then he says, "Oh, he has, he regrets it, so he takes it back. He asks, he goes to ask the rabbi, and he says, I want to take back my support for this nether. I want to, I want to nullify it.' And and he only asked the rabbi once. So now, does he still have the second time? Because he, he said it twice that he's supporting it. Does he have the second one? Does it remain in place? And therefore, the nether is a nether. So ma, what's the din? So tashma, my rabbi." I wish I remembered this Gemara, but I didn't. This is going way back. Tough, uh, I don't know. Your Rabbi Rabbi is not going to work over here. Who? Just pointing out. Your Rabbi Rabbi is not going to work over here. So so ends that 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 Svara. Which Svara? The Tashma is Rabbi Rabbi. Oh, hey, yeah. Rabbi oh, yeah. Rabbi is not working over here. <laughs> You're right. You so right. that 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 clever, and, that clever Abby, performer. bail me out on this one, Avi. Bail me out on this one. I don't know. I'm, it's... <laughs> this one's worse. This, this is worse. Rubber's the generation after Rubber. Correct. Correct. Anyways, I don't know what the Toshima is on this. Okay. Either way, Toshima, don't my rubber. This is going back in the, on the Gemara way back 40 blot ago that it said that if somebody makes a double Lushan of a Shua, Right, I'm swear this. I swear this. So then, and then he goes and he takes back. So does he have to take it back twice or not? So initial If he said a double lashon of a shvua, right? We said there's no shvua is not. We said a shvua is not chal on a shvua. Meaning, if a guy says I'm not going to eat, uh, I'm not going to eat meat, and he says I'm not going to eat meat, he says it twice. So. He's only it's only considered like he made one shua. But if he was matter, the first shua, the second one kicks in. Right? So the same thing here. Umar is saying the same thing here. Since he said a double lushan of that he supports the nether, and he supports the nether. So when he asks back for the first one, then he's only the first one, and that's it. Fine. Third, boy rabba. Kayim lechi umufer lechi. Now this guy's a real winner here. He says. Um, I don't even know what, <laughs> I don't know who thinks of this. I mean, what, if this is a real story or not, I don't know, probably not. But the guy says, I'm being Mekayim the nether, meaning I'm supporting it. And, and then I'm taking it back. And the my support for the nether is not going to be unless I, the hafara works okay huh? <laughs> yeah it's a total it's a, he said to the he said to his wife or his daughter i'm going to be mekayim your nether and i'm going to negate your nether but the the kiyum of the nether is not going to work unless the hafara works now you see how long this ran is to explain this i'll just just to be mechazek the island we'll just read the first lush of the ran Chazina, three lines over in the bottom. Chazina, Bahach Baya. I've seen this question. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to explain it the way I understand it. Right? But he did, Ron himself had a hard time with this Shaila, so I think we could call it a night. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're going to try. So basically, the way the Ron says the question is that it's no question that the hakama doesn't work in this quest. There's no shyly here. But again, the guy said, I'm being Makayim the nether, meaning I'm supporting it, and then I don't want you to have the nether. But, and then he says, but I don't want the support of the nether to happen unless the, the, uh, my, negate, my negating the nether works. So, so the Ran is saying that it doesn't work for... Uh, for the Hakama. Nobody has a Havamina that this is called support for the nether. The question is, is his negating the nether, does that work or not? That's the question. So Mao, what's the din? So Antoma Beis. This whole time, can they do Oh, so that's so, oh, so I'm sorry. Thank you for the reminder. 
that is part of the that part of the calculation here. If you look in the Mefarish, he says it's Taich Kedei Dibur, which is yeah, the Rashi Sugi coming up. So, yeah, the Rashi in the Mefarish says that it's Taich Kedei Dibur, yeah, yeah. which is Taich a Kedai which Dibur. is an upcoming Sugi. It's an upcoming Sugi, the whole Taich Kedei Dibur Sugi. But here he seems to be saying um, it was within Taich Kedei Dibur. Again, Taich Kedei Dibur is approximately two to three seconds, and that's it's like you can negate the first thing you said. With the second thing you said, which we'll see on Amar Beis, what the story is, right? So it's all the question of he says, "Kaim lechi umufer lechi." So that vav, does that eliminate the 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 toike de dibur or not? Because he's saying and, right? Um, see the you see the lashon of the of the mefirosh. Um, is different than the Ran's lush. And his is Kayim Lechi Vahodar Omar Moifer Lechi without a Vav. He went back and he said, which doesn't mean it's necessarily a Girsa di- difference, but it seems like he's learning the case a little bit different than the way the Gemara. The Gemara is just saying Kayim Lechi Moifer Lechi. Either way. So, but that's the Shiloh. What exactly does this guy mean? So, on Tom with Bays now. Yeah, 904 Aaron Kaplan, we're already on Tom with Bays. Okay. <laughs> so Tashima, we plugged the mayor. Why didn't I matter? That's good. Okay. <laughs> so Tashima, thank you. You play your cards right. You can make the nine fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> so Tashima, yeah. So well, we're gonna do the run if you don't mind. <laughs> so Tashima, we plugged the the mayor of Rabbi Yosi. We know we're gonna be we're gonna answer the question from this machleik is gonna be mayor of Yosi. Because before we do that. Well, just to get a little hakdama, so something called tamura, right? Which is that you are not allowed to swap out an animal. Once you have an animal that's the hectish, let's say you decide to take an animal, you're gonna you say you're gonna bring it as a carbon, and then you say, hey, that animal looks pretty good. So I want to swap it out for a, an animal that doesn't look so good. That's usur. If you did it, yoyrana iser, and if you did it, both animals become kadosh, right? The animal that you made it into and the previous animal. Right, so what happens if this winner of a guy says that he's making this animal into two different carbonas, one animal, right? Meaning, so let's see, the tanan. Didn't we have that already. We we we, we had this case, we had yeah. That we had a lot of this. The tanan, he said, the Mishnah says, "Arezu tmuras oila tmuras shlomen." The guy says that this animal is going to be tmura means it's, it's like swapped out. It's going to be swapped out for an oila. And it's going to be swapped out for a shlomim. Yeah. So now, which one is it? Is it a, now? How do you bring this animal? Do you bring it as a carbon oil? Or do you bring it as a carbon shlomim? So, so Rameir says, "Harezu tmuras oil." It becomes an oil diver Rameir, because Rameir says, "Your the first words that he said is what he meant to do." What was going on? Right. It's called toughest lush and rishon. You always take the first lush out of the guy's mouth. Right. Um, that's that's Ramea Shita. I personally go with this in my own, like when I ask somebody, would you like, would you like uh, me to, I don't know, what do you, you know, and when you're talking to people, stop and, and uh, nourish the things. Do you want, uh, you want chocolate ice cream or, or vanilla ice cream? So they say, I want chocolate ice cream. Then they start clearing, you know, maybe vanilla. I always go with the first one, you know, because that, that's the one that, Right, that's the one that clearly was was uh, okay. I don't know if there's any dimmian here whatsoever, but clearly that's what uh, I mean. The first thing I'm coming into the restaurant and think I want to order, that's what I end up going with, even though I end up not liking it. But that's a different story, All right? But then you go with the first. That's what he's saying. So Ramey is saying it's a tamura. He says tamuras oila tamura shlomim. So it's a tamura of oila. There is Ramey. But if I see Ramey, no im lekach neschav mitchila. So basically, now I don't know. We had a whole mistake to why we can't. I mean, you ask him, what was your kavana? <laughs> Finally, here seventy blind into the mistake we're asking him what his kavana was, right? Even though this is not this isn't tamura, but ask him what was your kavana? Yeah, because you can't say two things at once. Meaning, it can't be that he meant that it should be a carbon oila and a carbon shlomim because you can't say. You can't say that at the same time. It's impossible. So, the, so Devar of Kaiman, so whatever he says, um, um, so, uh, did I skip? No. 
So his words, his words are kaimen. So meaning what? If he says that he meant that it's an oila and a shlamim, so what are you going to do? You can't bring it. It's impossible to bring a carbon as an oila and shlamim. So what do you do? You put it out to pasture, right? And then, and then you want to get a mum, then you sell it, and then you take that money, and half the money goes to a carbon oila. And half the carbon, half the money goes to carbon shlomim. So essentially, Rabbi Yaisi says we do go with what he says, right? Fine. So vafilu meaning meaning. So if you go with our shaila now with the nedarim, so this guy said what? I'm being mekayim the nether and I'm being made for the nether, right? So according to Rabbi Yaisi, we're going to go with both, which means first went kiyim, then went hafara. So the chayra, the nether is, is negated, right? Then the Gemara says, but it could even be Rameir, Rafilu Rameir, even Rameir, who says you always go with the first terminology, like Omar, Ella, you have to stick an Ella from the Bach, like Omar, Ella, Deloy, Omar, I'm sorry, how does it go? It's talking about Ella, right? Ella, Deloy, Omar, right? Sorry, so so a filu rameir loy kamer ela deloy amar loy seichel zu ela im kain chalazu. That when he said, when the person said, this thing should not be chal unless this other one is chal. Aval hacha, right here, meaning the person said that he wants the, um, he wants he wants the, the. He didn't say like, oh, I want this one in case of this one and I want it to chal on them. He didn't say anything. He just said something straight. But here by the nether, So he said, I don't want the hakoma to be, I mean, I don't want my support for the nether to be unless the hafara is there. So then Rameir Nami might the hafara chal that Rameir would hold that the hafara is what's chal. Meaning, because if you analyze what the guy said, the guy said, I want to both support your nether. He tells the wife or the daughter, I want to both support your nether and negate your nether. So ultimately, at the end, what was his kavana? He wanted this nether to be nullified. That's what he wanted. What went on in between is, I don't know, it's immaterial, but who knows what the guy wanted exactly. But at the end of the day, he wanted this nether to be nullified. So then, okay, so we can nullify it. Meaning Rameir is saying by the carbon, by Tmura, he said he wanted to be an oila and a shlamim. So we have no idea what the guy wanted. So we're going to go with the first thing he said, right? But here, the guy clearly wanted this nether to be nullified. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with what he said, right? So therefore, comes out, according to all opinions, they're going, we're going to say that this nether is, is negated. Fine. Shaila number, what is this? One, two, three. Here. Shaila number four. Yeah. Boy Rabba. Did I skip? No. no. Okay. No. Boy Rabba. Kayim umufer lechi bevas achas. Let's say he said at the same time, right? It, I'm being it, and I'm taking it back. Yeah, so I mean, he then and he wanted it to happen at the same time. See, the for the last Shiloh was one happened before the other one. Here he says, "Oh, I like that nether. I don't like that nether." Right. So which one is it? So Mao, what's the din? So do we say? I mean, they can't both be chal at the same time. So so what's the story? Right. Um, Uh, yeah, so Tashima, the Omar, the Omar Rabba, that what's so called Dover, Shaina Bazar Hazel, feel of us Achas in it. Anything that can't be Chal one after the other, just uh, the Bach takes out the word Dover. Call Shaina Bazar Hazel, anything that can't happen if it's one after the other, then I feel of us Achas in it, then it doesn't apply even by one. This case is talking about where a guy. Is Makadish two sisters at the same exact time? Meaning he says Hareat Makadesh Lee with let's say his right hand and his left hand to two sisters. Now, obviously, <coughs> a person is not allowed to marry sisters. So the question is, 
do, does neither one get married now because either neither one can be chal? Or do we say at least one, at least one of them gets married to him and the second one not? So we say the rule is if something can't happen, which is here because a sister cannot become married after, after her sister is married to this man, meaning you cannot marry one sister after the other sister unless obviously the first sister dies. So therefore it doesn't happen with Vas Achas either. And since it doesn't happen with Vas Achas, so therefore um, it, it doesn't work, the Kedushin doesn't work for either one of those women. Okay, so how does that answer up to Arpshat? Right, so what does that do for us? So here too, we're saying that neither Lushan works. Right? Um, and therefore the nether stands. Luchaira. Right? The nether, the nether is going to stand because neither Lushan works. Right? Um, fine. That's, I mean, that's the way the Pashup shot. There's a Rambam here that's a little schwer. Because the Rambam says that if he says, uh, uh, where is the Rambam? I'm looking up. Uh, uh, the Rambam says that the, that he is being Mekayim the Nether. The Shaila is exactly what the Rambam means with that. Meaning here we're saying when he says both of them at the same time, it doesn't work. So it doesn't work. So that means the Nether should, it does not, it's not, Makayim is not anything. So the nether sits. He wasn't Mefer, he wasn't Makayim. But the Ramam says, no, that's considered a, a kiyum of the nether. Shaila is exactly why the Ramam says that. Either way, but those are the four Shailas that the Gemara asks, all these strange scenarios. And each one has a different shot. So the, this last one was at the at the same time. He says two different Lashanas at the same time. Neither one of them works. And yeah, okay, I hope this was understandable a little bit. Um, we can end over here. Tomorrow night's regular time? Yeah, right? Too early, I mean. It's too early to I mean to do the do before my is too early, right? right? Yeah, I guess I guess tomorrow night regular time. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> so I was about time. to say, what's so special about tomorrow? There you go. <laughs> well, Dylan, I'm not gonna say that you have an easy you missed the 745 share. That's right. I'm not going to say they should have an easy fast. They should get out of the fast, whatever it is that they're supposed to get out of it, which is ultimately chuba to go full circle. right? And then we should hear only Basudas Tavis and it should be the end of the fast. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Naftali, you were on at 745? No, in spirits, but I knew it was. Ah. <coughs> uh -huh. He, he I said, logged on at about seven fifty. So I thought you were there for the first four minutes, maybe. He said the topic, so I knew what it was about. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. I mean, I can't learn too much every day. It's you know, my body wouldn't know what to do. Here, the first, the first Listerine strip, Shyla just came in. The first what? Well, if you would have been on, brush his teeth. Oh, <laughs> brush his teeth. This other guy who's sick wants to know how much he could eat and drink. This is like the, the least fast, no? Why is everybody going? Yeah. I'm not going to tell him. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, Naftali, don't make fun. I'm going to ask the Rav Shaila the same I do every single time. <laughs> I still don't understand it. Why am I not fasting? 